This past October, journalist Jeffrey Tubin was fired from his post at The New Yorker after exposing himself in a video conference call. Today, The New York Times published an article dealing with the fallout. Ever since the news dropped, social media has been abuzz with Tubin takes. Joining me now to fill us in on how the Twitter world reacted to the news, a guy who lives on Twitter. Uh, okay, so Jeffrey Tubin pulled out his junk on a Zoom call in October and the New Yorker didn't fire him immediately? Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> Everybody involved needs to take many seats, period. So you're saying they should have fired him sooner? Uh, what I'm saying is the fact that we're even talking about this is cringe AF. <laughs> Next thing you know, Tubin's gonna go on Joe Rogan and start simping for QAnon. This is literally 2020 in a nutshell. I don't think I follow. Mm, okay, well, let me make it easy for you. Somebody murdered Jeffrey Epstein, okay? Do you get me now? No. Okay, well, it'd be like that sometimes. Don't at me. Look, I'm not trying to provoke you, but Twitter, you know, it's an important source of discourse, and you know it better than anyone else because you live there. So I'm just trying to get your take on how people on Twitter feel about Jeffrey Tubin. Okay, performative allyship much? <laughs> If you really want my take, it's that low-key, your attitude needs to be fixed, so take a number, sweetie. But sure, let's have a literal white straight man, which is literally what you are. Mansplain to me, and also white, also straight, also man, that you are white asking me a man question so that I can white listen to your man query and then white man answer. That's literally you right now. That's literally not what I said. It literally is. I literally have no clue what you're talking about. Okay, Seth, you're gaslighting me and you're straw manning me. And if you gaslight my straw man, my straw man's gonna catch on fire and then I'm gonna become 100% that bitch. I didn't mean to offend you. I'm seriously trying to have a dialogue. Okay, well, this ain't it, chief. <laughs> World's most toxic take goes to Seth Meyers, wow. I, I, I haven't even offered a take. Uh, and that's your problem, Seth. You're a dumb person's idea of a smart person and I'm a smart person's idea of a dumb person. And Jeffrey Tubin is a normal person's idea of a masturbating on camera person. Any questions? Yes, I have tons of questions because I have no idea what you're saying. Well, I have no idea what you're saying. Uh, all right, uh, well, what I'm saying is save your crypto fascist pearl clutching for the blue checks and tell me what the hell Twitter is saying about Jeffrey Tubin, period. Okay, go off, King. Well. The truth is Twitter is saying it's a delicate and complex issue. A parable about technology's increasing influence on in our time and a nuanced allegory for the pressure cooker that is pandemic life. Wow, that's what people on Twitter are saying? No, you can't pull your dong out in a Zoom meeting. Twitter says he's a nerdy perv with a weird and it's funny that he got fired. Yeah, that sounds more like Twitter. Now please leave. Okay, whatever, galaxy brain. Just remember, this is not normal. Bye. Guy who lives on Twitter, everybody.